Here is a realistic price expectation for Fidium, formerly known as Blockbank. Now, if you're new here, my name is Tyrell, and over the past five years, I've managed to go from a dead broke uni student, making money online from e-commerce, social media marketing, other business models as a business owner, and investing the profits into cryptocurrency. And over the past few years, I've managed to become very, very successful with my investments. And one of the next projects that I'm looking at is F. All right, now, first things first, let's go over the chart, right? One of the interesting things I've been doing recently is creating trend-based FIBs. Now, if you followed my channel before, you will already know I was very into Myriad Games. I'm still a very large investor in Myriad Games. Currently, I hold about 24 nodes, and I've been using these trend-based Fibonacci's. Now, so many people say, oh, you can't trade TA, you can't do these things, and yeah, I am a believer of that, but... On larger market cap altcoins, even if they're on, you know, Uniswap, PancakeSwap, or any type of decks out there, I've been finding it very good just using trend-based fibs and trading it. And personally, it's made me a lot of money. I can't say the same for a lot of these other basement traders who say they know what they're doing, but they can't back it up with actual money. Um, whereas me personally, you know, I've already made over $100,000 trading live these types of trend-based fibs. And as you see, you know, all you do as a trend-based fib is you put the trend from the top to the bottom and then run it back up. And it gives you some base levels just to look at things, especially these new tokens, when we don't really know what the key levels are for them because we don't have years of price history like we do on some of the other larger uh, larger coins out there. So as you can see, you know, Myriad Games went from uh, about, you know, 9 cents or 0 0.009 all the way down to 0 0.001 right back up to 09 and beyond right and as you can see right now um we are literally literally uh looking like we're going to come back down to 06 right but if you use this key level you would have been able to see hold on a sec we're breaking back above here take the trade enter hold some of the node rewards and look for it to go above and as we've seen once we was hitting around this uh, not 618 level, you guys know about the 618 Fibonacci, it's very similar for the 1618. Up here, you could have thought, hold on a sec, you know, we've struggled to break it twice, maybe look at taking some profits and moving it into other things. Funny enough, when it comes to FI, we have seen something exactly the same, right? So, with altcoins, right, what you can see is with FI, when they transitioned from block bank over to FI, uh, there wasn't available on coin market cap. Okay, there wasn't available uh, to see on any type of trading view, but if you head over to CoinScan tokens, uh, which you can see from the uh, the FI Telegram group, which I'll leave a link for down below, you'll be able to see this chart. Now, if you put a trend-based fib from the beginning to the bottom and, and run it up, it aligns with the fibs, right? So what I can say is right now is FI is looking to go on a rally and the price at the moment is looking very, very good. But what I also like to do when it comes to looking at a project to invest into, I like to compare it to other coins in its niche, right? With Myriad Games, the historical call, I compared it to Gala Games. Now, we're very, very close to Gala Games market cap. Before this, it seemed like a pipe dream. Now, it's only been four months and we're already almost there. For FI, I have another interesting view, right? For those of you guys that don't know, Right, there was another project out there called Swissborg. Now, Swissborg is very similar to uh, FI or what is formerly known as Blockbank. It's an app. You download the app. You get access to buy crypto, trade crypto, and it's an entry level for any anybody looking to invest into crypto or, or buy Bitcoin and altcoins. Right, we all know about Coinbase, Binance, Bitget, uh, Bitflex. All the links for those will be in the description. But sometimes it's hard to use and access those ones. For me, one of my best investments last cycle was Swissborg. And Swissborg did well over 100x on market. You've seen from March to November, September, it didn't do nothing. But after that, it went on on an absolute rally and actually went up to a $1 billion uh, market cap from a $17 million market cap which is absolutely ridiculous. That's well over a 100X on market, right? Not a private sale, not a launch pad product, something on market. And there's a reason for that, which I'm going to be revealing at the end of this video as well. So make sure that you do stick around, take notes and actually 
No, take in the information. So, Swissborg went up to a $1 billion market cap. Now, there, in my opinion, is no difference between Swissborg right now and FI. And currently, uh, Borg is only a 2x away from FI's market cap. So, for me, on market right now, there is still a 2x, right, in this. That's why I'm still holding, right? Personally, I'm already up over $50,000. You can see that in the Telegram link down below from when we called this uh, over four months ago to now, uh, since the transition from BlockBank to FI, uh, we're, we're up over well over 10x, right? But I'm still holding for another 2x, okay, on this because I feel like we can still hit Borg's uh, market cap, okay? Now, our all-time high, right, we're still at 17x, right, 17.2x away from this $1 billion market cap uh, product. And I do think that FI can get close, right? I don't think that it's going to hit you know, another 17x from here uh, straight away. There is some certain things, which again, I'll talk about later, that it does need to hit for us to get there. But that's why, you know, my first take profit will only be a 2x from here. So I do think on market, it will be a 2x. And if we're talking about entries for those people that already know about this and already looking into this, literally run the trend-based fib and just look for these key fib levels. Like it was very clear from multiple entries on FI from this fib, right? We had a daily here, two or three days around this area here. And then since then, you know, we've seen over a 60% rise in price, right? With this market, that the fact that it all follows Bitcoin, we all know there could be a Bitcoin dip coming. This does leave amazing opportunities to buy the dip on these types of tokens, right? It means that, you know, down here, to Swissbox market cap is probably a 3x, right? Or maybe like a 3.5x, okay? So as comparing it to other things in the niche, it, we do need to have a look for the bigger boys, right? Because Swissbox isn't the biggest product out there. It's not the biggest one um, on the market. In fact, one of the biggest ones out there is actually Crow. Now, FI to Crow's market cap is a 27x. To Crow's all-time high is a 269x. Right? Do I think FI can compete with Pro with Crow? We don't know. Right? It's in the same niche. It's the same reason why you compare Bitcoin to gold. Right? It's it's not the the physical comparison. What I'm saying, it's the um, it's the, the the tactic. Right? The the skill of comparing things to other things in the niche. Right? It's exactly like real estate. When you buy real estate, you buy the worst house on the area. You do it up to where it gets to that value. And then there you go, you've made money, right? You buy something that is below value, you increase its value and then you sell it, right? For example, if I'm going to buy a house, the house is derelict, but on the street, there's other houses which aren't that good, but they're selling for, you know, 30% more, 50% more just because they've been done up or they have a nice exterior there or they have a nice garden, right? Or they have a nice uh, interior of the house. Well, there you go, you have opportunity. Right. And that's the same way I look at these types of things. Right. It's the same reason, again, you know, we was comparing Gala Games to Mirio. Everybody was saying that it wasn't happening. So many people had some genius opinions, but then it turns out we're not that far away. OK, so firstly, I'm going to say this in terms of a price prediction, FI on Borg is what I'm currently looking at. Uh, if, as I'm going to get on to shortly, uh, we do hit some of these things which we need to hit uh, and we do get this network effect then it is possible that we can start competing with Crow. I won't say Crow all-time high, 269x seems a bit outlandish even to me, um, but a 10x and a 20x, if we do hit these, these certain targets, will be possible for FI as well from this current price. Now, again, if you wait for that dip and you, you manage to get it on these FIB levels, that means it's not just a 26x, it might be a 30, 40x to these sort of levels. So on market, FI very, very, very good. Now, let me go into the details, right? Because I know everybody wants to hear the price predictions first. The details are simple, okay? What FI is, is it used to be something called BlockBank. Now, they're a DeFi and CeFi in one. So if you've noticed on Bybit, I think even on BitGet now, uh, I think even on Binance as well, you can see you have the centralized wallet and you have the decentralized web free wallet. And what that means is that you can trade CeFi, centralized exchange, and DeFi, decentralized exchange, all in one app, which makes it a lot easier for new people getting in this game. As you guys know from the free tutorials and the stuff like that that I put out, it's hard for normal people to wrap their head around using a MetaMask or using Radium or using 
um, Uniswap, PancakeSwap, all these different things online, right? It's, it's generally a full-time job figuring out all of these things, right? And you've probably experienced that as well. But what about if it was easier, in all one app, you could access CeFi, which means you can buy your crypto uh, on there, you can just deposit with your bank account, but then you can also trade some DeFi stuff as well. That's the goal of these types of things, is introducing the boomers over to decentralized finance. And we haven't seen a DeFi season yet. There's a reason for that. It's too bloody complicated, right? So we need something like this to work, okay? And that's the reason why I'm really interested in BlockBank right now, if they pull it off, okay? If they pull off this network effect. Now, the first thing I want you to do, if you are interested and you are liking these things, first of all, like the video. Second of all, head over to Twitter, follow BlockBank on Twitter, and just start, you know, when people say, do your own research, it's not that complicated. You literally just follow people on Twitter and just run through and read what they're saying, right? Read into the information. Now, secondly, BlockBank have some interesting things coming up, right? They have over, I think it's over six months of news and announcements to come up, right? We have obviously HODL cards. There's definitely going to be an exchange listing in there, centralized exchange listing. That's why they swap the token over. There's going to be user campaigns marketing campaigns to get people on, influencer campaigns, referrals, and so much, so much more. And as you can see, we are just getting started, right? So when we talk about fundamentals, the fundamentals are there, right? People need to be joining, people need the centralized uh, uh, and decentralized access to crypto. Secondly, we have the pumper mentors, right? Is there news and announcements coming up? Is there a reason for this thing to start shifting and something that people can get behind, right? If you look at other products out there, you know, like XTP, I really like XTP, but the issue that they have is they don't have stuff like this where things are happening, right? Reasons for people to buy the token, right? There's a, <laughs> there's a very big reason and a very clear reason why literally in the space of, you know, what is this, a few weeks? Or what, these are daily candles, right? So that's the space of, you know, since 2024, it's been almost two weeks, right? That's the reason why this thing is pumping, right? From the bottom to the top, it's already up 4X, right? Or almost 5X. There's a reason for that, okay? It's because there's a there's momentum, there's there, there's news, there's announcements, there's marketing campaigns. If you're comparing this to XTP, which you guys already know about, you should know about XTP by now, that's why it's not working for them, okay? Now, Fidium, after the rebrand, also partnered with MasterCard and Lighthouse which means that this is gonna have a card, which it already has, which you can access simply by downloading the app. You get this card online, and that means you can do Apple Pay, you can have a real card where you can swap your crypto to cash. With SwissBorg, you didn't have the card, right? Which means you had to wait for a, a deposit from SwissBorg to your bank, right? Which is okay, it was instant, hopefully it still is instant, but having a physical card where, let's say you hit you know, a 10X on your gains, right? you've now got that money straight away accessible. You can just go out and buy a car. You know, I know people that were buying cars and houses with their Swiss board, uh, Swiss board profits. So you're increasing your net worth straight away for an app like this. Whereas with other exchanges and larger exchanges, it might take three to five days. You know, think about PayPal guys. You guys have used PayPal before. They'll lock up your money for 65 days. You know, they'll, they'll store things. It doesn't actually feel like your money when you have these things, when you use these, these, these centralized banking assets. However, with Fidium, with the access to a card, a HODL card, you know, and the access to, you know, actively trade crypto, centralized and decentralized, it just makes sense, right? It makes sense. Now, you can actually see from December the 4th, these guys were the winners of MasterCard's Lighthouse program, right? Which means that they're getting recognized by MasterCard, right? So this isn't something which they've just purchased a partnership or they're leveraging, you know, some employee's experience, okay, to get access to these types of things to put on their website. No, you can see it here, right? The whole team, the whole team is live over here, right? Getting rewards, right? Now, the final thing I want to put out, right, the thing that you guys probably waited for is why did these things work, okay? Why did Crow work out, okay? Why did SwissBorg work out well, right? And all these other um, exchange type of tokens, right? These, these websites where people, normal people buy crypto. Why do they coin pump? Well, the main reason behind it is something called network effect, right? Now, what network effect is, is a principle, okay, that illustrates the idea that when more people use a product or service, the value of the product or service increases, right? 
users, okay? Think about this, right? Why is Facebook so viable? Because you have your memories in there. Why is Instagram so viable? Because everybody uses Instagram. Why is TikTok so viable? Because it has more users, right? They're valuable before the revenue. They don't need to actually run ads. Think about this, right? Yes, they make a lot of money from ads, okay? And, and yes, that makes them revenue. But because they have so many users, that brings the value of the network, right? As an investor, the first thing you think is, okay, how many users have you got? That is the value. Forget about the valuation. Forget about all, all, the, all the imaginary stuff. How many users have you got? How many people use your product? That's the value of the product or service, right? It's the same thing with these centralized or, you know, what they call it, fiat on ramps, where people can trade their actual real money for this magic internet money, right? Now, when it comes to these types of things, you just have to wait for BlockBank or now FI to acquire users. As more people download the app, which loads of people had to download the app to transfer their old block bank to FI tokens, right? It was an amazing thing. The users on that thing has probably gone through the roof. As more people do it, as they release referral rewards, as more people download the card, like imagine you're walking around, you go buy a coffee with your FI card and someone looks at it and says, what, what's that? What, what, what is that card you're using? You're like, oh, I'll use this thing, you know. If you download it, you can get $20. Okay, Pfft downloaded that's one more user right times that by 10,000 is a reason why things like Swissborg went to a one billion dollar market cap and is a unicorn company guys unicorn normal companies don't go to one billion dollars in the first five years right? that's why they call it a unicorn right fi block bank might do the same thing okay so my goal with these types of things is i'm looking at can they acquire users are they marketing are they having good customer service? If I go in the telegram, are people kicking off or are they handling all the complaints and all the whinging and crying that happens in these chats, right? If they can do that, they're gonna acquire users. And the more users that they acquire, it increases the value of the token because what's the first thing that you do when you download you know, an app like you know, FI or Swissbook? You buy the native token. But right? what happens if 10,000 people or 100,000 people buy the native token? Well, it goes up, okay? And when you have more users, more exchanges want to list your token, okay? So that's the reason why I love this type of narrative. And it's a narrative that nobody is talking about. You see people talking about gaming. You see people talking about, you know, L1s or L2s. Yeah, because that's easy. But nobody's talking about coins like Crow, coins like Swissborg, coins like, um, well, I don't even know if Bybit Buy Buy even have a coin anymore, right? But coins like FI and Blockbank. These types of coins are yet to run because retail are still not in this market, right? They, the only thing that they know about right now is, oh, that, that Bitcoin thing that was, that was listed. Right? They don't know about being able to access these things, right? Look at the UFC. UFC and Crow do a very smart thing, sponsor UFC and Sport. What happens as soon as they say, everybody who watches this and scans this QR code and downloads it gets $20 worth of Crow on the app. Everybody downloads it. Right? And if you look at the chart on these types of tokens right now, we're so early, guys. Like we're, 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 we're crazy early. Look at Swissborg right now. Swissborg hasn't done anything. And it doesn't until the last moment, the last moment of the cycle. And that is the same thing with FI. At the last moment of the cycle, FI is going to fly, right? Or, or Swissborg will fly or Crow will fly. And that's what I'm kind of looking at, okay? So that's my mindset and ethos. Now, before you go, one thing I, would, I do want to say to you guys is, is simple. With these types of products, with these types of investments, whenever you invest into crypto, your risk, as you can see, is massive, right? These types of tokens can go to zero, regardless of the, 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 the trend lines and the lines you draw on the screen, regardless of how the charts look before, look at what's happened to Swissbook right? At one stage, I know people at one stage that were up 100x on this thing and were not selling, right? I, I, I met them in Telegram, okay? I met them in Telegram. They brought all of these years, a $10 million market cap, all the way down to a $5 million market cap, okay? All the way up to a billion dollar market cap. Didn't sell. They ate the cool, they, they drank the Kool-Aid, okay? So one thing I would say for you is remember, your risk is 100%. Whatever you invest into these things, remember that you can lose all of it. This isn't a pipe dream. I don't care about technology. This isn't the future of technology. Whatever people are saying, right? Because the price of the token, even with the network effect, is not relevant of the value of the company. That's how it works with, with, with crypto coins, right? That's why Swissbook went to a $1 billion company uh, valuation all the way down to 250 million in the space of, you know, little over two years, right? One, two, right? That's like 80% down. 
So if you do end up making these gains, right? If you're already up, you're in my Telegram group, link for that down below. You're already up 5X, 10X, consider taking profit. If you do buy this thing, and in you know, a year, towards the end of the cycle, you see FI block bank go to a billion dollar market cap, don't forget to take profit. If you see um, block bank do FI, I always have to say FI block bank guys for the people that are old school and the people that are new school, okay? For those of you guys that have seen um, this thing go up 26X, you invest 10 grand, you've now got 260 grand, you've 20X your net worth or, or 5X, 10X your net worth, okay? Consider taking profit. Do not forget to take profit on these things, okay? And swap it for something real. Go out, take your friends and family out for dinner. Buy something for your parents, right? I, I, I gave my mum 10 grand cash yesterday, right? Or two, two days ago, right? 10 grand cash. I made it back, as you can see, in the next day right? on, on things like FI, okay? Do these real things because at the end of the day, all money is is an exchange of something that is real. It doesn't actually exist. It's just money. It's just numbers on the screen, right? So don't forget do something real, help somebody else. And when you do make profit, take the money off the bloody table. Stop gambling, okay? You have to gamble to get there, but it takes some smart sense and discipline to take profit, okay? So guys, if you do like this stuff, follow me for more, subscribe to my channel. Every single day I leave value. I show you how to make money online and invest the profits into crypto. Thank you very much. My name is Tyrell. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.